we all know how sour our tomato stew can get to especially when we don't know the right ingredient to add to, to suppress the acidity of the tomatoes it can get to the point whereby the taste and the sweetness of your stew is totally rain due to the acidity of the tomato so guys welcome back to onyx food here i'm so glad to have you back if you're new to my channel please subscribe click the bell button so you'll be the first to know whenever a new video is uploaded so guys in today's video i'm going to show you how to get rid of the tangy test from your tomato stew or how to remove the sour taste from your tomato stew in four simple ways it's something you can easily do at home so to do this you're going to need some tomatoes i'm using fresh tomatoes here i've cleaned them i've cut them into halves for the first method i'm going to bring the tomato into the pot we are going to be using the steaming method once i've added this to the pot we are going to steam the tomatoes right away okay i've just placed this on the stove top after steaming the tomatoes for 10 minutes you could notice we didn't add water to this but the tomatoes have become shrunken and the water is expelled out so now i'm going to turn off heat and leave the tomatoes to cool okay let's bring the tomatoes into a strainer to reduce some of the water leave this to cool down after steaming the tomato and i've left it to cool down a bit i'm going to bring this into the blender the steaming method helps to reduce the large quantity of water from the tomato and also help get rid of the sour taste from the tomato it's very easy to blend this without adding water to the tomato okay at this point you can add in your onion you can still add your onion to steam with the tomato it's still good okay so I'm still going to blend this until I have a very smooth paste we have a very thick tomato paste here okay for the second method I still got some bread tomatoes here you don't need to directly boil your tomatoes you can just blend this the way they are so I have dressed this already and I've cut them into smaller pieces I'm going to bring the tomatoes into the blender okay at this point you can add in some ginger or garlic to your tomato and blend once i'm done blending this i'm going to pour this into the pot Okay, I had to share this into portions, so I'm going to be adding in pepper as well. Okay, if you notice guys, I didn't add water to my tomato to blend. This is because the less water in the tomatoes, the less sour it is and also it helps to cook in time. I'm bringing all the blended tomato all together in the pot. blending your tomatoes at this point you can just pour this into a strainer to reduce some of the water but this will take a lot of time so what I'm just going to do I'm going to heat this for like five to ten minutes It's going to help hasten the process so I'm opting for the fastest and simplest method okay I'm placing a lid over this and let this boil Okay, this has come to a boil. I'm going to take it off from heat immediately. Next, I'm going to bring this into a very fine strainer to drain out all the liquid. This is going to make it very easy for the water to pass through. Boiling the tomato first before draining it makes it faster for the water to drip out compared to when you just blend it and try to use the water immediately it's going to take a lot of time so this will take 
just few minutes for the water to go down you can see that already after leaving the tomato to rest for 10 minutes the water has reduced there's no water in it again it has become a very thick paste you don't have to throw this away you can use it to boil your meat that's if you're using meat to make your stew so we now proceed to making the stew to make your tomato stew place the pot on heat adding your cooking oil i've used this oil before so i'm going to reuse it again the oil should just be enough to, to fry your tomato okay once the oil is hot i'm going to add in minced garlic minced ginger let it fry for 30 seconds next i'm going to add in some chopped onion i'm going to stir fry this until the onions become translucent Once the onion is translucent, bring in your blended tomatoes. Okay, once I've added this, I'm just going to stir this. The second method entails frying your tomato until the water dries out completely. Okay, I'm going to be giving this a stir from time to time to prevent the tomato from sticking to the pot. Okay, when you're frying this, you don't need to cover this. You have to leave this open for the water to evaporate as it's cooking. Okay guys, so I have been cooking this for the past 15 minutes. The tomato stew is properly fried. How to know this is properly fried? Okay, if you look closely, you see some bubbles at the top and the tomato paste looks as if they are twisted. Okay, so it shows that they are properly fried. Okay, so this is for the second method. For the third method, we are going to add in sugar to help balance the taste of the tomatoes. Okay, that's a tablespoon of sugar. After adding it, you can add it along with other ingredients. Then you stir. The sugar helps to neutralize the acidic taste of the tomatoes. Okay, I'm going to show you the fourth method. Now I have my tomato stew well fried. I'm going to add in half a teaspoon of baking soda. You can use baking powder as well. This is going to help neutralize the sour taste of your tomato too. After that, I'm going to stir and allow it to cook for five minutes. After cooking this for five minutes, I'm going to start adding in my seasonings. I'm adding in some stock cubes. Salt to test. After that, I'm going to give this a stir. I'm still going to be adding in more seasonings. I'm adding in thyme and curry powder. Now, I'm going to add in some chicken broth. So I've allowed this to cook for another 5 minutes. Next, I'm going to add in my fried fish. I'm using fish. You can use chicken, goat meat or any other protein of your choice. Just going to stay this to combine. This smells so good. And I love to test this again. It's delicious. I hope you would like to try any of this method out guys these methods are very effective for getting rid of sour taste from your tomato stew 
Once you're happy with the taste of your stew, you can now turn off heat and it's ready. Okay guys, from my experience, these are the four effective methods of getting rid of sour taste from tomato stew. So you can choose any of the four methods which are one, steaming the tomatoes to reduce the acidic water which is in excess, two, frying it for a long time until the tomato paste is completely fried, three, adding sugar to balance the taste of the tomato stew. If you're adding sugar, no need for baking soda or baking powder. And the fourth method is adding baking powder. If you're adding baking powder, no need to add sugar. The baking soda helps to eliminate the sour taste from your tomato stew. So guys, these methods are proven and they are very effective. You can try this out and let me know what you think about any of the methods in the comment section below. And if you have any other method that is effective and you have been using that, please share it with us and I want to know your suggestion. Thank you for watching this video and remember to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, have a nice day. Bye.